Hello and welcome to this short introduction to FlexCarver. FlexCarver is a content management system. It is used to change content on a website. Now why another content management system? There are so many out there. Well, there's not many out there that are based on JavaScript and this is what FlexCarver is. What does that mean for you as a user? Well, as a user it means you don't have to change from the front end to the back end just to change content. This is the FlexCarver webpage and we're surfing through it like any normal user. So we can use the menu and just have a quick look. And after we log in, nothing much changes. We can still surf through, but there's the three buttons here with the plus signs and there's the expander on the top. What also happened is you can now click on content and change it. For example, the title. We click on it, we change it, and we save the changes. You can also click on the normal content. We click on it, change it, and save it. You can also change the type of normal content by just clicking on it, then changing the type field, for example to image, pick an image, oh, if there's no files on the server we'll have to have to put some, some on. Uh, we go to your computer and, and look for some files, uh, go to the upload tab, drag them into the upload tab and we get our image editor right away uh, in which the size of the, of the crop is set by the developer and the designer, in this case the 300 by 240 pixels and all you have to do is just pick the crop, all else is done by the system. So, take your crop, save the changes, and the server is cropping your images in the right position. Now there's the files on the server in the right size, all three of them. And let's pick the smart bird there, select the file, put it on the left, save it, and there we go. If we wanted to change the position, we just click on it again, put it on the right, and save it. If you wanted to change the type of an element, you just click on it again, and change the type from image for example to video and uh, let's make this a YouTube video so click it and put in the ID of the YouTube video uh, let's center it this time and save it so all done if we want to add an element we'd have to click one of these buttons here let's uh, add a link so we click on this plus sign make it an image pick the image pick the link and save it and here we go. It's formatted automatically by the system and it's all set by the designer and the developer so you don't have to worry about it, just put in the content and it will look perfect. If you want to change the order of things you hit this button here and you can drag and drop it to where you'd like it to be. In the back end there's a preview and if you want it there you just save it and you're all done. But we want to change this page back because it's actually live so we click the title and change it, save it we click our, our body text, what was body text, and the body text is still there, so we just have to change it and save it. And to delete an element, we just click on the element and hit the trash can. Gone. So now the page is all back to the way it was before. So now we have a look at the back end floating over the top, so we're still in the front end really. <laughs> we just click on it and here you see the whole site mirrored in the back end, so the whole page uh, is mirrored in this tree here and you could change any page in the, in the site. If we'd go back to the page that we were, the software use uh, page, we could do the same thing here uh, like we did before and add an element, change it to image, pick an image, pick the link, the title is filled out automatically again, save it and there we go, it's there again. If we want to change the, um, the order of the, of the elements here, we just drag and drop it in the list box, save the changes, and you see it's moved up. Of course we can also delete elements here, we just delete it, and save the changes, and it's gone. If you had a bigger site, and you wanted to look for something, you can just put it in the search box here, hit enter, for example spine, hit enter, and you get buttons, and if you click on those buttons, 
it takes you straight to, to where you can change um, the word that you were looking for. So it takes you to the right position, the right element, and you can change it right away. If your site is bigger and you're, you're getting confused with too many pages, you can actually lock yourself to a particular chapter. So you pick, uh, for example, here the flex cover at CMS chapter, and now the tree is much smaller and it's, it's much easier to edit. If you wanted to add pages, you go into Edit Navigation, for example, right click on the chapter you want to add the page in, and you can add the page like this. You can edit the navigation title here, save it, the page name, the URL page name gets changed automatically. And if you wanted to edit this page, you just click Edit Page and, for example, put in some elements. Save it. And yeah, we're all done. If you want to move this page, you click on Edit Navigation and just drag and drop it to where you want it to be. If we open the, the site, you can see it's already there. It's uh, reloaded in the, in the back. And here you can go straight over the menu to the, to the page and put in some more content example an image and if we want to change the order of things it's still the same we click on the order button and put the image on the top this time save it go to the back end we can actually delete the page because it's just a testing page hit the button delete and yes we're sure if you wanted to release the page lock and see all the pages again you just hit the lock again and you can see all the pages again the whole site and change it if you like so we're done uh, looking at the editing part. Um, we have the two tabs on the top. We only have two because we're a reporter user. An admin user would have more, like a, a configuration tab. Uh, but on the database view tab, we can see the entries that came in through the site. So you click on it and you can read, read the text. Or like for example in the addresses, you can change it in line. Hit enter. And the changes get saved. If you've done changes in your page, you should always log out, because this creates a sitemap in the background, which is good for Google and other search engines. And together with the friendly URLs, which are integrated in the system, your page will be uh, search engine friendly automatically. So we're all done. I thank you very much for your time. If you want to contact me, for example, over my contact page, feel free to do so. And bye bye.